Anyone who has ever flown a kite or sailed in a sailboat has felt the energy of the wind. Wind energy can be thought of as another form of solar energy. Most of the heat we feel on Earth is radiated from the ground. Different types of Earth's surface absorb or reflect sunlight differently, resulting in uneven heating. Warm air rises, creating low pressure beneath, drawing cooler air to replace the rising air. Normally wind blows from high pressure to low pressure regions. Air movement can happen on many scales. It could be within small areas such as water and a sandy beach, or on a global scale such as air flowing between the equator and Arctic regions. Besides mechanically pumping water, wind turbines are best known for their ability to generate power at remote sites. During the 1930s, when only 10% of the nation's farms were served by electricity, literally thousands of small wind turbines were used. These home light plants provided the only source of electricity to homesteaders in the days before the REA. Radios of this time period required many batteries, so often a wind charger for charging the radio's batteries was included in the price of the radio. The old farm windmill with so many blades was good for pumping water in low volume, but not real good for generating electricity. A modern wind turbine with only two or three slender blades can generate 100 times more power than the old drag type windmill. This is because the blades of a modern turbine generate lift like the wing of an airplane. The modern windmill can be a single unit that provides power for most of one home, business, or farm. Wind generated power can be stored in batteries if converted to DC current or sold through the power grid. Placing a single windmill on every home is not always practical or possible because of building codes and other considerations. Wind generated power can also come from wind farms that utilize many large wind turbines, each capable of generating enough electricity to power hundreds of homes. Garvin McNeely has started one of the largest wind farms created by an individual near Dodd Center, Minnesota. Presently, there are 46 wind generators capable of supplying enough energy for 13,000 homes. The circle created by the three blades of these wind generators is nearly as wide as a football field and sits atop a tower 300 feet tall. Currently, Denmark is the world leader in wind energy, both in use and in the manufacturing of wind equipment. The generators used in the McNeilius wind farm come from the NEG Micon Company of Denmark. 